Georgia mother, 16 year old son, unborn child, killed by boyfriend. I'm pretty sure that many of you already know about this, but I want to play devil's advocate with this. And let's talk about who may who, who is really at fault and how this could have been prevented. Make sure you hit the like and the sub button. Check this video out and let's talk about it. The story becomes even more tragic. The pregnant mother set to have her baby shower this weekend. The teen, a football player at Dutchtown High School, Latasha Givens, has been talking to family members and classmates of the teen today. Well, Jeff, part of the street is still blocked off around the homes closest to where those murders happened, and investigators are still gathering information. Now, throughout the day, loved ones and friends have stopped by to pay their respects, but it was the visit from Sandra's parents that sent waves of emotion. And my husband, we got three babies to bury. We know how we going to do it. Kathy and Johnny White are broken beyond belief. A murder-suicide claimed a total of four lives in this Henry County home, including their daughter, Sandra White, her unborn son, and her 16-year-old son, Arcavion. Police believe 47-year-old Anthony Bailey shot and killed his pregnant girlfriend, Sandra, first, then killed Arcavion during an hours-long standoff. He wasn't but 16 years old. He went to Dutchtown High School. He played football. He had a great future ahead of him. When police made their way inside the home, they learned Bailey had taken his own life too. Sandra was due at the end of the month and planned to name her son Antonio. The baby shower was planned for this Saturday. She actually sent me a picture of the dress that she was going to wear to the baby shower that we'll never get to have. It was Sandra's sister, Anitria White, who initially found her body in the garage that morning. As the White family mourned their loss, they're also concerned about the brave officers who were shot. And our prayers goes out to the two police officers from Henry County. So we know they they got shot because they got shot trying to save our baby. Yeah. And we're praying for them. The heavily damaged home now sits hollow, a reminder of the lives lost. Sandra White was a registered nurse last working at Wellstar Atlanta Medical Center South and the surgery department and Wellstar sent us a statement saying they are saddened by this tragic loss and they will certainly miss her presence to their team and they send their deepest sympathies to her family and friends. Jeff. Those interviews of the family are, are so compelling, so moving, so horrible. Earlier today, Henry County School District released a statement expressing its condolences for the teen and his mother and its support for the injured officers. The district says it will have grief counselors at school on Monday as students and teachers return from school. Now, what I'm gonna do is play devil's advocate. Um, as a parent, especially a father, one of the main goals is to protect your children. And one thing, and I believe we take it for granted because it's stuff like this happens on a regular. You want your child to be able to have every opportunity to re at least reach adulthood, but then be able to be a success in life. But the one person that shouldn't hinder that or prevent it should be your parent. Now we we'll always hear things like rest in peace, or how messed up it was that something like this happened. And it is tragic, but who are the real victims in this? And who are the real ones that caused this to happen? Now, granted, the dude took it upon himself to kill these people. But at the same time, this dude showed pl plenty of signs in the beginning that he wasn't worth a damn already. Now, the dude that did the killing showed this woman many signs that he wasn't worth a damn but you decide to have another child with him you decide to put this man child around your family and this is the end result of it now the fear of being alone seems to scare a lot of women for some odd reason they need companionship even if, if it's at the behest of their child or their children. 
This is a perfect example. There should be not one person, especially if you're not married to them, that you should allow to jeopardize your children's life. And especially, it actually came into fruition. So if you know that a person isn't worth a damn, it's not even that they're telling you what you want to hear. You live in the same household with this person, and he every day he's showing you that he's not worth anything. Now, this is a perfect example of how we're gradually switching roles because it's the norm to see a woman, whether a parent or not, take the role of Captain Sable. You want to save these men. You want to give these men an opportunity. And it's a higher percentage that he'll give you what you already suspected because this man is already an adult. And if he hasn't learned how to be a man by that age, you shouldn't be the one that should be affected about by, by it. Your children definitely shouldn't be the one that's affected by that's affected by the stupid decision you made to put this no good man within your house. Now your son doesn't have the opportunity to see see what he can make of himself. He's dead and gone at 16 over something that could have been prevented. The the lack of awareness by the mother or maybe even the lack of even caring about the children. The ch child that you were, were pregnant with, even though the child probably didn't have a chance in hell of being successful, but that was still your child, two months away from giving birth. You put that child in jail. Yeah, you lost your life, but as adults, we know certain actions come with certain consequences. The children shouldn't have to deal with those consequences. If it's something that affects your children, you need to run the opposite direction. And especially when you have a man in your house with your 16 year old son, if he doesn't already have a father figure in his life, maybe he did, I'm hoping that he did. But if he didn't, guess who he's gonna try to mimic? Yeah, you're right. That no good man that you have laying up in your house with no ambition, no goals, no nothing. And one of the main things that bother me, you will hear a lot of women that say, mama got to live too. I got to live my life too. As men, a majority of, well, a lot of us know that we don't have that luxury when we become parents, especially single parents. Everything about you goes on the back burner because your main goal is taking care of your children, protecting your children, giving them every opportunity to be successful in life. And if you ever see anything or come across a person that may threaten that, you shouldn't, you shouldn't get them involved with your children. A man shouldn't meet your children unless you're gonna get married. A man doesn't need to know anything about your children unless you're gonna get married. A man doesn't need to be living with you unless you're gonna get married. And the simple fact that a man at this age still had to live with you, you had a whole bunch of red flags in front of you that you chose not to take heed to. Now again, I'm not trying to bash this woman, but I'm just speaking reality. And sometimes we have to acknowledge things like this if you ever want it to change. Now all you hear is rest in peace and we talk about how sad it is that these people died, and it is. The real sadness comes whereas these two children died that didn't have a damn chance in the, in the world because the parent didn't take the necessary steps to protect them like she needed to. If you agree, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you hit the like and sub button. 50BM, Devil's Advocate, I'm out.